Pat Quinn's competitive fires burn brightly. He's stoked the embers in search for that vital spark, or perhaps a spark plug in Steve Sullivan, but for pure grit. All roads Saturday night led to Chris King. Ron Wilson's arrival in Washington meant capital gains. Veteran leadership in the playoffs saw instant payoff, and a blend of brain and brawn would eliminate Buffalo, only to fall just short of the penthouse in the shadows of the White House. Last season, 194 total goals established a mark of futility. This season, a mandate to turn on the red light find Toronto shooters given the green light. Net results are up, and so too the Leafs in the standings. Washington's top gun led all NHL marksmen last year. From the days of Lincoln and four score, no address needed here. He's Peter Bondra, yet another leader who certainly knows the score. The NHL's all-time scoring leader the past four seasons. All may be quiet in the Gulf, but the Maple Leaf Brigade is set to strike. Toronto invades Washington tonight, here on TV. From the MCI Center in Washington, it's the first of four meetings between the Capitals and Leafs. Toronto vies for its first win in Washington since January of 1994. The Leafs have won nine games this season and six with Curtis Joseph in nets. It was vintage Cujo on Saturday night. He'd withstand an Ottawa barrage, stopping 27 of 28 shots. And with that kind of blanket coverage, Toronto had the insurance it needed to preserve a 2-1 win. But alongside the big win was a critical loss in Alexander Karpatsev. The recent Leaf acquisition had just begun to show the promise expected of him until this slash by Andreas Johansson left Karpatsev with a broken thumb and out of the Toronto lineup from five to six weeks. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Washington. It is homecoming night here in the capital city for former capital and Sylvain Cote, who makes his Toronto debut since being dealt back to the Leafs in March of 1998. What a year it has been for him so far, and the Leafs hoping to make do well with a veteran line defensive brigade because they're going to get younger tonight. Yannick Trombley will emerge out of the press box. He has been a healthy scratch for the last 12 games. Well, goal totals in the NHL overall are down this year, but with the Leafs, they are certainly on the up and up. And Steve Thomas has played a key role in the Leafs' quest to eradicate itself from the scoring drought of a year ago. He's been a valuable addition to Matt Sundin's flank. He's garnered points in five of the last seven games and when Thomas collects a point Toronto's 8-0-1 this season. Well simply put the Washington Capitals have been a capital punishment here at the MCI Center. A despicable record of one five and two but injuries there have played a major role yes in washington health is indeed wealth in terms of total man games lost so far this season they've lost a grand total of 96 but expect richard zednick back in the lineup tonight he has missed 10 games due to an ailing shoulder well, an injury to Bill Ranford an opening night last year in Toronto opened the door for Olaf Kolzig. He took charge on that night and eventually took the Capitals to the Stanley Cup Finals. A 1.95 goals against average in the postseason and 12 wins and rewarded this past week with a new four-year contract worth $12 million. Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs with an excellent road record of 5-3, and three, hoping to extend that by a positive digit in the win column come three hours' time. With more on tonight's game, let's send it upstairs to Joe Bowen and Harry Neal. Thanks very much, Paul. It's nice to have Percy Dove Tonsils back in action down there, and it's good to have the voice back, isn't it? Well, the play of uh, the Washington Capitals Premier Center, Adam Oates, may be the second-best premier playmaker this league has ever seen harry he's just an outstanding passer yes you'd love to play on his wing look at the number of assists he's behind wayne gretzky in the 1990s he's averaged 58 assists a year since he joined the league last year was the first year in 11 he hasn't scored at least a point a game and he's had 54 points in 51 games against Toronto. And if you want a high endorsement of Adam Zote's ability to get the puck to you when you're in a scoring area, phone Cam Neely or Brett Hall. They'll tell you he was a vital cog in all the goals they scored. It has been over the past couple of years, as Matt Sundin goes, so go the Leafs. He's getting a lot of extra help this year, as Paul pointed out, with Steve Thomas's emergence, but there's no question he's off to a great start. Well, tied for fifth in the NHL with 20 points. In the last eight games, he's had nine points. He seems to me to have been much more aggressive 
this year than other years. He's always been a, go a guy who scored spectacular goals, but this year I think he's taking more advantage of his size. He has scored 50, uh, 29 points in 21 games against Washington, and Steve Thomas and Matt Sundin and a couple of wingers who have played the left side have been the most powerful offensive line for the league. So the Maple Leafs on a one-game road trip here at the cavernous MCI Center as we get set for the Capitals and the Leafs.